Aries, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we will be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, so there's going to be some um, adversity and difficulties that you will face amongst your journey. Like I'm telling you stuff you don't already know. Hello. But always know that through contrast is going to be where you receive the most. But generally, it's when we feel contrast that we close up the most, right? So we feel that things are adverse, they're difficult, they're uh, discerning, we're uncomfortable, and we immediately go into, we like shut off our heart portal because we don't want to feel that. We're like, oh, hell no. And then we start thinking about stuff, right? So then we're thinking, but it's the act of thinking that lowers our frequency. So then not only do we stay fixated on the problem, but then we're then emphasizing how bad we feel because we're thinking about it more, right? How to fix it. And so we just want you to always remember that it's about feeding yourself the truth right? So when you go through these new moments and you're taking that leap of faith and you, 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 you go for gold, right? And you're, you're on your way and you're, you're, you're flowing through new paths, two of wands, right? Leading you into, um, all your wishes being fulfilled, nine of cups. And you feel like that by the way, because when you start new paths in life and they feel really, really aligned with your spirit, you feel that all your wishes are, are becoming fulfilled. You feel totally aligned. And you're like, even though I don't see them showing up in my physical world, I feel that they're coming. And so all is well, right? Anytime that that feeling is not present, it's most likely because you're thinking about an outcome that you're attached to and it hasn't shown up yet. So anytime we think, immediately we take ourselves out of heart presence. So just remember that. Um, we also have the devil in reverse. So that means that this path you're on right now is allowing you to eliminate some of the... Um, energy cords that have left you feeling bound. Mind you, you may have limiting beliefs around this, right? So for instance, one th something that may have made you feeling like, like for instance, I used to have this um, attachment to exercise in a way where if I didn't wake up and exercise, I just wouldn't be the best version of myself. Of course, that was a limiting belief. That's not true. It just, I am a uh, I'm inspired by the version of myself when I do wake up and exercise. And that's kind of how I like to be in the world is inspired by myself. So that's why I exercise. But I used to feed myself limiting beliefs that I had to exercise to be my best self. So see the difference, right? You don't have to do anything. You get to choose what feels energetically the best for you. The minute though that we put this have to, should, need into something, that's immediately when we create our life or make decisions from that place of need and it doesn't feel good for us anymore. Because guess what happens then? We stop becoming creative and we start doing something because we think we're supposed to. And as we know, see being in the flow of spirit is more childlike than anything. And what happens when you tell a child that they're not allowed to do something or that they have to do something, right? So at the end of the day, we want you to just shine from this place of authentic creation of that, hey, this feels fun and exciting. I would like to do this, this clarity, if you will, this queen of swords clarity, right? So um, making decisions from a place of, this is the intention of my life. This intention requires me to be in this energy. And this is the energy that, this is how I'm gonna get there, right? So for me, doing the reads and connecting to spirit, the, the intention is to be in a state of peace and calm and connected. So that means that I'm not going to go, which I used to, I'm not going to go and tax myself with a giant workout and then, you know, maybe eat a bunch of food that won't really align with that intention, right? Fasting is always, will always connect you deeper to your soul. So I always, uh, fast, um, for the majority of my day anyway. Um, so that's, that's how I'm going to practice this. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you just got to know what's your intention. What's the energy that you want to feel in that intention and just trust the process. But if, if that's going to be how you base your decisions from Aries, then it will feel good for you, right? If you're in a nine to five, but you're like, I don't want to be here. Well, 
the thing is, is that again, dwelling on the fact that you don't want to be there will produce negative energy and then you will blame the job. Well, it's, I don't want to be here and I feel bad around this. I need to change my job, but it's actually not the job you have to change. It's the energy that you're feeling. So instead you say, well, I'm in this nine to five job. What energy do I want to feel when I am in this nine to five? Well, I want to feel happy and excited and I want to be engaging with the other coworkers or at least like, you know, be present or acknowledged. You know what I mean? Well, in that, in that, in that, for coming from that intention, then you're going to have to wear that energy walking into that nine to five. So it means that whatever you do before you walk into your nine to five, it's got to hold, it's got to, um, be a practice that lets you feeling like that. So before I walked into my nine to five, um, I wanted to make sure that I was feeling confident. I was feeling clear. I was feeling connected. So I always woke up, meditated, journaled, automatic wrote, something along those lines. Um, and then exercised, of course, and then had my, you know, uh, drinks or food or whatever I was bringing ready to go already ready to go. And I was out the door early. So I didn't stress myself with, with rushing. And so it was always, uh, you know, just understanding that intention for yourself. And what that will do is it allow, it'll allow you to feel your power and it will allow you to feel like you are always in control of the situation, which you are, but sometimes we, um, lose our, our sense of intention, um, because we are feeling very emotional and when we feel emotional, we tend to overthink, right? And when we overthink, we obsess, and that's when we need to surrender because then we know we're out of heart guidance, right? We're out of um, the connection with the universe. And it feels like the universe is gonna be pivoting you here. Um, you may even experience that. So again, sometimes when we think life is gonna go a certain way and we're so connected to that outcome, I'm gonna get this job. I'm going to be here. You know, it's like almost like if you were going to go and say, get your realtor's license, right? Say you had this, 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 this connection to it. I'm going to become a realtor. But what if as you took the course and now forgive me, cause I'm not exactly sure how this goes, but what if as you're taking the course, you're like, I'm not really stoked about being a realtor. Maybe you don't want to be going out to different houses and driving clients around and so forth, right? Maybe that's not like your cup of tea but maybe being a mortgage broker is, right? Maybe something in that realm is. So then spirit will guide you to get your realtor's license, right? Or, or go through that, that process of jumping into the path of the, doing so, the energy of doing so. And then from being in that energy, realizing, well, I don't want to do this. Oh no, here I wasted all this time. No, because see from there, you're then going to be guided into the next thing you see. So that's, that's what that change of direction could require. And that's why we say, don't focus so much on an outcome that this is what you're going to be. This is who you are. This is how it's going to go. Try to release that because it will hinder you in the long run. Your affirmation for the day is out of difficulties, grow new beginnings. I trust the process. Out of difficulties, grow new beginnings. I trust the process. See? So the thing is, is that you're guided into these new paths taking that leap of faith, right? You might be, have some limiting beliefs around it, but don't worry because you are going to, is are all going to unfold, right? And again, when you are feeling unclear and when you're feeling a lack of empowerment and feeling like maybe you're wearing a mask, like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, try not to overthink that and remind yourself that through contrast, you are gaining experience because through the realization of what you don't want, beautiful soul, when you realize what you do want, and that's when that change of direction comes into play, so even if you are feeling a little unfocused and not sure where to change your energy, where you place your energy is always going to be on what makes you feel your best, right? When you focus on happiness, when you focus on things that leave you feeling satisfied, then you're going to mimic that energy. And then when you mimic the energy of satisfaction and happiness, you attract in satisfaction and happiness with the ideas that come in. But if you're stuck in like, I don't like this, this isn't good for me, here I am doing this course or taking this program or I'm in school or I'm at this job and I don't like it, if you focus on the not like, you're just going to see things that in your life that you don't like. And we don't want you to feel like that. We want you to feel abundant and joyful and attract in abundant and joy, right? And that means that when you focus on happiness in your life and feeling that feeling of satisfaction, you're going to attract in ideas that mimic that, right? And that's where, it, that's really what it's about. So again, in relationships, when it comes to um, uh, growth in your career, in your businesses and all kinds of things, right? Your health, it's always about focusing on what you love right? Focus on what you love, focus on what works, right? And, um, and solutions will come in. You just really don't want to focus, focus or fixate on the problem or how to fix something, right? Because like, I have no money. How do I make more money? How do I make more money? How do I manifest money? All that, you notice how bad that feels. It's so constricting, right? Instead you're like, I deserve to live abundant and joyfully and abundance flows to me endlessly. I'm an abundant being and spirit grants me everything that I desire and everything is showing up for me, right? okay, that feels much better. That feels more energetically clear, right? And then you can go for the next thing that feels like that. 
Well, abundance right now feels like getting a glass of water. Okay, go and do that, right? Always know that action releases resistance. So anything that you do that you take action on, you keep the energy moving, you pivot, right? You gotta pivot, can't sit and think, right? Then that's only gonna get, create more energy. So everything will, will unfold in time. Universe's message for you is you might not know now, but you will. Universe says, think of someone very, very special to you. Now feel yourself bursting with love for them. Now mentally shower, drench, and soak them in that love. Now mentally shower, drench, and soak yourself in my love. Now feel it always, the universe. And that's what it is about, beautiful soul. Aries, that is all what it's about. Remember, trust in the process. You are going to get there. Oh, and by the by, if you have any interesting dreams, dreams do hold uh, messages for us. Um, the more painful, the more of a wake up and smell the roses that is, right? So, or the more uh, scary or, or, or nightmarish, right? Nightmare is always the wake up, right? It's just as anything in life, right? It's difficult, wake up, right? So um, you can write things that you can write your dreams down if you want that sometimes help us put the puzzle pieces together. Writing things always do, but you can just take a mental note of it. Anytime it's a uh, nightmare, something to wake up to. Anytime it's feeling good, uh, generally it, it's, it's a, uh, um, uh, being, you're being shown something, uh, almost like a premonition, if you will. Not always, right? But you can, you'll have that feeling, you know. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spare loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.